Hey guys, Jason with Fat Finner Garage, and today we're talking about transmissions and how we're going to keep them cool. And so when we're doing uh, the Coyote swaps or an LS swap and we've got a big six-speed automatic transmission, we're concerned about keeping it cool. So we don't typically tie in our cooling system into the radiator because then the transmission will only be as cool as the engine is. And so we like to kind of detach those. If it's like a little uh, three-speed transmission, like a C4, um, you know, where it's on a 302 and it's not going to get that hot and it doesn't get driven that much, then maybe you can get away with, you know, tying it into your radiator. Uh, a little bit, next step up would be those uh, little round aluminum torpedoes uh, that are finned. You can uh, put those into those four speeds. But when we get up to the six speeds, uh, there's a lot more going on. There's a little more performance because you're probably tied into an LS or 5.0 Coyote. And so you're going to have more cooling that's going to have to happen. And so what we have used here, and, and a lot of guys are using this product out there, but these Durrell Performance uh, oil coolers and transmission coolers, and they make all kinds of stuff. But the product's been really good for us. Um, and so this is the product right here. If you notice on the box, uh, uh, it comes with a fan. It comes with uh, a, a cooler that you plug in with AN fittings. And so that will help. Uh, like a radiator, the, oil, the transmission fluid will go through there and it'll cool down and then it'll go back and do some more, cool, uh, more work in the transmission. So let me open this up and you guys can take a look at it. Um, and I'll kind of show you how we install it. So here is basically what you get here. And, um, and they have all kinds of different shapes and sizes. So if this if this is a size that doesn't work for you, you can obvi obviously you can get different ones. And sometimes they'll come with a barbed fitting on this end right here, or they'll come with an AN fitting. And you can choose to get a dash six AN, a dash eight AN. It just kind of depends on, you know, what you're trying to tie it into. So if you're transmission, you've got like an adapter block and it converts it to AN fittings and it's a dash six, then maybe you want to run dash six. If it's a dash eight or dash, you know, 10, then maybe you're taking a look at getting sizes that match up so you can get as much fluid moving through as possible. So this essentially um, is very easy to, you know, to hook up the fan and it's pretty straightforward, simple power ground, but you have to be able to trigger the fan. And what you don't want is to have this thing turn on just with key ignition, because then you're going to hear the fan all the time and you're, you're doing work that doesn't need to be done. And so you're, you're going to wear your fan out a little bit sooner. And so what you want is the fan to come on at a certain temperature. And so that usually is going to be right around 180 degrees is what you're shooting for. So I'm going to go show you one we have installed. And so you guys can see how we plumbed it and how we have a thermostat sensor in there and how it works. So we'll follow me over to this truck. <coughs> we'll climb under here. Let's see right here. So We've got one we've tucked in here underneath this truck, 12 volt supply, just a nice little system that's in there. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, so we're a dash eight on this system, so it's pushing some fluid through there. But we got this little fitting here with this little uh, th thermostat sensor. And so that sensor actually triggers the fan to actually come on at that temperature. So it, uh, once it gets to that 180 degrees, then it uh, converts it over, that relay opens up and it allows it to actually turn the fan on. So, which also allows it when it's not that hot to turn it off. So when you start your vehicle and your fan's not just cranking up and blowing and everybody's like, you know, why, why is it making such a loud noise? So uh, that was kind of something that, you know, a long time ago before I knew better, before we stumbled across these little things, uh, we would do and so um, but now we're able to improve the process and so hopefully this is helpful for you so if you guys got a coyote motor you're doing or an LS motor six-speed auto especially 10-speed autos you got to come up with a way to cool them down so one of the things that I like about these too is that it allows you to put these in maybe an inconspicuous place because it has a built-in fan and so you don't have to have it you know right in front of the radiator making it difficult to cool everything so you can put it up front underneath the radiator you can stick it back here uh, and you want to make sure there's plenty of air space around it so that it can pull air push air whatever you know you need to do to make it work and so uh, hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit uh, cooling is important 
you want to make sure things aren't getting hot and you want to make sure your transmission's going to hold up and last and that fluid isn't getting uh, you know deteriorated by getting too hot so uh, with that we're out good luck hot rodding guys